Harp of Brandeswear is a suite of 11 pieces that I composed for the Celtic Harp. This book includes the solo harp arrangement as well as an original story about a magical harper by the name of Brandeswear. The music is for intermediate to advanced players and can be played either on a lever or a pedal harp. There are no sharping lever changes within the pieces. The levers are all preset before each piece. The music is in a variety of keys and modes. The opening piece of the suite is in the Lydian mode. It features chords that are arpeggiated downwards as well as upwards. In the forest is in the Mixolydian mode. Dialogue with a brook is in the Dorian mode. It was originally composed on a wire-strung harp, but you can play it on any type of harp. Lament has F-sharps and G-sharps throughout. The time signatures in Gypsy Mirage are continually changing. The most common pattern is three measures of 5-8 followed by one measure of 6-8. The villain in the story is named Goran Spur. This ominous sounding piece has F-sharps and A-sharps throughout the music. The Harper's Vision is the longest piece in the book with six pages. One section features rapid seven note chords. Morning Calm features lush seventh chords and should be played extremely rubato. Forest March is in 12-8 time. Metamorphosis is the first piece I ever composed and it is still one of my favorites. The final piece, Brandeswear's Triumphant Return, is a happy march in the Dorian mode. I composed this music on a lever harp that went down to the G an octave and a half below middle C. And about half of the pieces can be played on a harp with only one octave below middle C. The pieces range from two to six pages long and fingerings are not included. The 15-page story at the beginning of the book is enhanced by beautiful line drawings and color illustrations by Steve Douglas. Our hero, Brandeswear, lives on a magical island where it is always spring. The island is invisible to outsiders, but if you play a particular tune on your harp, you are magically transported there. The legend states that if winter ever comes, the island and its people will be destroyed. Gorenspur, an evil sorcerer, is jealous of the Harpers and their island haven. He casts a spell of winter on the island in hopes of annihilating them. Brandeswear is sitting in a clearing when the blizzard descends and the island is cloaked in a blanket of white. He takes up his harp and plays the spring back to the island, breaking the evil spell of winter. The people rejoice and celebrate the return of spring with a procession in honor of Brandeswear. And, of course, they all live happily ever after. In the book, I indicate where the various musical pieces fit into the story. My Harp of Brandeswear CD is available separately. I have added a variety of instruments to many of the pieces, including flutes, trumpets, drums, cymbalom, and more. A synopsis of the story is included in the liner notes, but the CD itself is strictly music with no narration. Two of the pieces are available as separate sheet music arranged for harp and flute as they're performed on the CD. I hope you enjoy playing my compositions. And may your life be filled with harp music and the glory of spring.